watercolor. I'm going to start with a brush. Typically, it's the same brush that comes with your kit. So it's about this size. I like to use a little bit of water and, have, and a napkin for sure. It's a great habit in case you want to check your color. You have excess water dripping. It's just, it's just safe. So I'm going to start by drawing. I'm going to use any color you want. I'm going to start with blue. So it's water, color, napkin as a little top, outline. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> outline. Water, napkin, pull. I like to leave a little bit of white. Now, if it's not the dark color that you like, and you like, well, I wish it was it was darker, now's not the time to try and make it darker. Let it dry. And then you can go back and make it darker. So now switch colors, any color you like. And here we go, water, color, napkin, outline. Okay, that is not outline. This is outline. Outline is getting as close as possible to the other object or color without making a mess. Water, napkin, pull. I'm going to pull the opposite direction just to be safe. So I'm pulling and there you go. If your colors mesh together, you probably skipped something. Let me make this nicer. And here, again, if I want this to be Darker, I should wait until it dries. I have more control when it dries. And if you want to make it into something, we can make this into balloons. Now, I just, we drew it, we added color, but there's no shadows yet, so we'd have to wait for them to dry. If I do it now, I might it might be a little messy I have to wait for it to dry just a bit so while we wait for it to dry a little more I'm gonna decide where I want the light to be it looks like automatically this came got a little darker so I'm just gonna go with that because I'm making them up I'm just gonna say my son's over here where my water cup is so this is already dark I don't have to worry about that and this is darker too so I don't have to worry about that so source of light is right here shade the opposite of both of my objects well these guys and you can see I kind of blend this kind of blended together I'd have to go back there once it dries and add some blue over this on the it doesn't look bad, I can't really tell. So I'm gonna do my shadows. I'm gonna use gray or black for this demonstration. And I'm gonna use the width of my balloons. And so if you're wondering, well, how much do I, how dark does it have to be or how wide, that's up to you. It's, um, what time of the day is it? So I'm gonna pull some of this color down here. So this way it's not, this way my, my balloons are anchored to something. So there it is, or they're flying off. So you want at least the width, because the sun is over here, I can take it out a little further out. Now the only thing missing is we got source of light, shade the opposite, everything has a shadow, that's the outer shadow, the shadow, sorry. And so this balloon is overlapping on this balloon, therefore this area needs to, it, it already is like darker orange, but I'm going to go in there and hopefully I won't mess it up and make this a little darker in here on the overlap. So 
there we go. You can always blend it in more. But let it dry. When it might look too dark right now, but once it dries, it'll it won't be as dark. So there you go. Source of light, shade the opposite. Everything has a shadow. Anything that overlaps. Anytime something overlaps, it's gonna get darker, right? So same thing with our balloons.